Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a couple days, but we are back and we're going to go and uh, find us a job to do. So we're going to go over to contracts and we're going to look through here. we got the essentials, which looks like it wants us to deliver a bunch of stuff to the farm in Smithville Dam. I don't know if we're quite ready for that since we haven't even been over there to see what the roads look like or where the farm is for that matter. So I think we're going to skip that for now. Dyson Diesel, not a drill. We're going to deliver to the drilling site. Metal planks. An oil rig, which wants us to go through the tunnel as well. Who knows where that's going to be located at? Anybody know? Comment. Tell me where it's at. Give me a cheat. Uh, and a construction rig semi. Okay, we know where this trailer's at. We, we saw this trailer at the factory when we did that last uh, last contract we did where we took a fuel tank and stuff to the factory. Um, yeah, we saw this rig. It's, like, it's a big uh, piece of equipment sitting on a flatbed trailer up here. So that, this would be a pretty easy mission except for I really don't know where the oil rig is at. So... That's probably going to make this mission a little tough. I think we're going to skip that for now as well. I think before we take on any of these contracts, we're going to send a scout vehicle over to Smithville and just check the roads out and see what we're looking at. Uh, still in River Township. Still River Supplies. Deliver a fuel carrier trailer from there to the storage. And some consumables and wooden planks. All right, we got that. Or lost container. Uh, what do you guys say? This looks like a fairly easy mission, and it it's a uh, drilling. Well, I don't know where we're gonna get the drilling spare parts, but it's only one thing, one time drilling parts times one. So I don't know where we're gonna get them. It's not you see, it's not taking me to show me where we're gonna get them. But how hard could it be? A truck with a crane is recommended. Uh, we have a truck with a crane. Our GMC has got a crane hooked up to it. So I think we're gonna activate this mission right here, guys. Oh, for real? Like, the drilling parts are in front of... They're, they're right in front of the warehouse. Like, that's walking distance, guys. Some Somebody could just walk out there and get this. Uh, get this crate. Like, has anybody got a phone? Like, maybe we can call the warehouse and be like, Hey, idiots, you want me to send a crane truck all the way over here to get a box that's sitting in your front yard? Like, Amazon dropped it in the street instead of on the sidewalk, and you want it on the sidewalk. Well, all right, let's make these guys happy. Uh, these, these guys are these guys must be lazy. Well, let's go do the work for them, all right, guys? Let's find our crane truck. Let's go back in. The, I believe our crane's on our GMC. Yes, sir. So our GMC sitting on all-terrain tire. Oh yeah. I don't think you guys saw that after we completed the uh, after we completed the pipe dream contract. We leveled up, so you guys didn't get to see, because I don't bore you with the upgrade details, but as you can see right here on the screen, all of our medium-duty trucks are now equipped with all-terrain tires. Uh, the three that you can see sitting here and the Kodiak C70, all three of them got new tires after that last mission. So this will be this will be fun. Let's go, uh, let's go to the warehouse, guys. Oh, I've got a... Turn this down a little bit because uh, I don't want my TV volume back feeding into the microphone. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Where'd my fuel trailer go? Where did my, my fuel trailer was sitting? Right there. All right, guys. Which one of y'all stole my trailer? I know one of y'all did it. One of y'all snuck into my game when I wasn't looking. You stole my trailer. But y'all remember when I finished the factory thing? It let me keep the trailer. Remember when I when I delivered that trailer to the factory? It let me keep that trailer, and I parked it right there. I was gonna use it. I pointed. I just pointed at the screen, by the way. Just you know, for if anybody's wondering if the idiot with no camera is pointing, yes, the answer is yes. Um, anyway, we parked it right there by the curb, and we left it right there, and we had a trailer there. But last time I was here, we had a trailer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little intrigued as to where my dang trailer is. Not that I need fuel right now. 
but I'm a little uh, concerned as to where my dang trailer went. Alright, let's head to the warehouse. Let's go hunt for my stolen trailer while we're out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Either, it, well, maybe you're not thinking this, but I know what you're pro possibly thinking. I know what I'm thinking. I, what I would be thinking is you were playing co-op and somebody stole your trailer. I haven't played this profile except for on video. Like everything I've done except for driving my truck. Like after a after a job, I'll drive my trucks back to the garage. And, you know, like it's not doing too bad. This truck is, uh, you know, considering it's two wheel drive and open diff, it's not doing terrible for this sloppy crap. Anyway. What I would be thinking is, oh, you played online and some some uh, jack wagon stole your trailer. Well, that ain't what happened, and I ain't played online. I have not played co-op. If I had, you would see it in the video. Oh, where am I at? I think one of y'all took it. You fess up. Whoever it was, you can tell me. Comment below. Tell me you stole my trailer. All right? If you needed my trailer full of fuel, you could have just asked. I'd have gave it to you. Just a digital rendering, anyway. Hey, I was impressed, and then I'm stuck. Um, come on, you really had me going there. Hey, this truck tricked me, made me think it was gonna handle it. It didn't. All right, well. You know, one little two or three meter quick winch up, that ain't no good I guess. Made it through most of that sloppy hole without a winch up, so, what ifs? Yeah, I know, that was so teenage girl of me, right? What ifs? I'm just like on the floorboard right now, guys. I'm not even like, okay, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'll slow down. What was about to say, I'm just like on the floorboard, I'm not even feathering this thing, I'm just letting it dig, but then that, that proved to be not the best idea. I'll tell you what I always do, I don't even know why I do it, I look over at my laptop as if I think I'm looking at you guys. Makes no sense, right? It's not, just did it again by the way. But that's when I always screw up like that, is I'll look over at the laptop to say something to you guys. And I'll take my eyes off the screen, and the next thing I know when I look back, my truck is going toward a rock wall or a guardrail or a light pole or some crazy crap like that. And it's hilarious because it's like I don't even use the camera, so it's not even like I'm looking over at the camera so you can see me look at you. Like, I just do it instinctively, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Probably a little odd. Alright, I'm still taking the shortcut. Uh, I don't trust that sloppy area over there. When the game gives me an alternate path, I do not trust that sloppy area. Like, if the game gives me this alternate direction, it makes me very strongly feel like I need this alternate direction. You know what I mean? Oh, what did I hit? Dang tree. See that crap? That dang tree hit my gas tank. Gave me some damage. Fuel tank for the diesel. Not a gas tank. I know. I move the camera around a lot, guys. I know. I just I like I like watching the truck from all kinds of different views. I just I love watching the tires spin and throw the mud up. Right, I just I love watching that stuff. So I know. I know I do it. almost there already guys like this may be uh i can't believe they want us to come get this package like tell me how lazy that is that box is sitting out in their front street like in their front yard and they want it on the porch like come on guys just go out there with your forklift y'all ain't got a forklift whole warehouse ain't got a forklift just run your forklift out there and get your box oh boy it got deep right here didn't it oh Holy bananas. Come on. You know? 
it's trying to dig like not impressively but it, it is honestly trying to dig and, and given uh, you know given the way this truck is set up I, I'm not even mad at it I am uh, ooh barely yeah barely had a long enough uh, reach I didn't think we were going to have a long enough reach to hit that winch to hit that hole. That was, that was pretty close, I'm not going to lie. That was pretty close to not being long enough. Well, I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm still not super disappointed in this truck. I mean, it's rear wheel drive with an open diff and it's definitely using more fuel getting over here. The Fleet Star only uses like 35-ish. <clears throat> 35 to 38 liters of fuel every single time I come to the warehouse. It's like 35 to 38 liters and this is looking like it's going to use an additional 20, maybe an additional 25. It's almost, almost twice as much fuel as the Fleet Star to make the same drive. But the Fleet Star don't get stuck. It's all-wheel drive. It don't get stuck. So maybe if we tried this drive in the Fleet Star without using all-wheel drive, where it has more trouble, then it might burn a similar amount of fuel. All right, there's our box <coughs> that they're too lazy to come get. Literally, guys, right here. Your box is right here, guys. Oh, let's hit it. Oh, I thought we was going to hit it for a second. I'm going to get as close as I can, because if I know anything about operating a crane, it is that you want to be as close to your target as possible. You do not want to operate a crane. You don't want to operate a crane and be a long ways away from your target, because the last thing you want to do is tip over, get your crane overextended. All right, we're going to go into the crane mode. Boop, boop. Put those down. We're going to swing the crane around. It's going to be a short one right here, guys, because we already got it. Look. Uh, raise it. There we go. Up. And that was it, guys. That easy. Like, this will be the shortest mission. I think this will be our shortest. Did I just kill him? No, I didn't. Okay. I think it's going to be our shortest contract we've ever done, guys. I mean, like, for real. We're only, what, 14 minutes deep right now? And we're already about to finish this, unless they throw us for a curveball. It wouldn't surprise me to see him throw us for a curveball and uh, something weird happen. Oh, you can't deliver the cargo here. You got to deliver it upside down or, you know, some weird crap. All right. We'll find out in a minute, though. We'll run over my pallet like I always do. But when I ran over that pallet, it sounded realistic. It sounded like a metal pallet, didn't it? Alright, we're going to stop here. And surely it's not that easy. It is that easy. We just made 200 points and $1,300 in like 12 minutes. Um, that is by far, guys, the easiest contract I think I've ever seen. Um... While 
an abnormally short one. I think I'm still going to just go ahead and end the video there, guys. I mean, there's no reason not to, I guess. It was kind of anticlimactic, though, wasn't it? Uh, absolutely, absolutely no problems, no, no fun stuff. I, there is a problem, actually. There was a, somebody stole my dang trailer. There was a problem. So, yeah. Tell me, tell me where my trailer, which, who took it, which one of you? I know it was one of you. Y'all be watching these videos, and you're casing my, you're casing my place, and you saw where I parked my trailer, and you knew I wasn't home, and you stole my trailer. I know it. I know it. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. I might check my security cameras and see what kind of truck it was that came in. I know it was a pink Navistar that brought the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check my security cameras and see who took the trailer. Well, all right, guys, I don't want to take on another contract because while this contract only took us about 15 minutes, another contract is going to push us way too long. So I am going to end the video with this, and we will pick up another contract or another task or another job or go explore or something in the next video. Comment. Tell me what you want to see. Comment, tell me what you want to see. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to, don't forget to click share. Don't forget to send me a copy of Hooked on Phonics. And don't forget to click subscribe. Because surely you want to see more of me getting my words all jumbled up, right? I mean, come on. Come on. And surely you want to you want to be with me when we figure out who stole that trailer, right? You want to come back and see that, right? The only way you'll get to see that is if you subscribe. So make sure you do it. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So uh, you guys have a good evening, and until next time, peace out.